Steve Anderson has worked with so many people. If you go to steveandersonproductions.com, go to the discography page and gag because oh, on, there's Britney on, on there. There's <laughs> the group Take That on there. Yeah. And, of course, Kylie Minogue. Yes. Which is what brings you to town because Kylie is wrapping up her first American tour in, in New York. Yeah, a little mini tour. A little mini tour. Now, yeah. what, what has that been like? It's been fantastic. I mean, it's something that she's wanting to do for a long time and, you know, she kind of, it's about sort of 20 years in the making, and um, it was time, you know. Now, have you ever toured America yourself? No, not at all. So now, what cities have you hit? Uh, we started off in San Francisco, uh, and then we've been to Vegas, and we've been to LA, and we've been to Chicago, and then we did a bit of Toronto, and then we came here. All the high points. Wow. Yeah, um, and we did one, the one weekend that was, you know, really amazing was we did Las Vegas on the Saturday night and the Hollywood Bowl on the Sunday. Wow. Which was, for any artist, is such an incredible achievement. The Hollywood Bowl is an amazing wow. place. It's a beautiful venue, yeah. It's a, it's a great, I can't imagine what it's like to play, but just to say, have you been to Hollywood I've Bowl? Been, I've never been to California. I'm oh, sorry, yeah. you've been to California. Yeah. The Hollywood Bowl is, you just walk in and you feel the history. Yeah. Completely. It's totally, it's just really, really magical. Um, but literally, the audiences everywhere have been unbelievable. We've been, you know, so thrilled with how the, show, how the show's gone down. And so, if you're wondering where Kylie is, she's resting, oh, y'all. She has another show tonight, so... She'll be with us again soon. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> so what, 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 what do you do uh, on the road with, with Kylie? Because people don't really know. You hear the, the term musical director, and it's, it means different things on different to- tours, doesn't sure. it? Yeah. No, I mean, my job is it's a, it's an odd one, really, because most musical directors kind of arrange the show, and then they go on tour with it, and they play on stage. But because our show is so... There's a massive multimedia element, obviously, with all the video and the choreography, and it's directed by a friend of mine called William Baker, who's been with Kylie as long as I have. Um, So it's actually, our job starts about six months beforehand, putting it all together, doing all the arrangements, working on everything, and then I have a a musical director for the band, who's kind of the person that's concentrating on whether people are playing the right notes. So it's kind of arranging it all, going in, rehearsing it, coming here. And then the reason that I've come on this tour is just because I just wanted it, everything had to be perfect from day one because we only had, you know, nine shows. Normally what happens, we open and, you know, about five or six shows in, we're still changing stuff. This time round, it had to be right. And it had every to be right single the one. first night. Yeah, we had to be bang on every single night. So, um, and, and, we, rev- have, and the, we have been. I was going to say, the reviews have been <laughs> smashing, so. Yeah. Which has also got to be gratifying. Well, you know, she is the best live performer in the world, in my opinion. And, uh, and I just think, you know, everybody that's come to see it, it's, it's a kind of bit, a little bit of a best of everything we've done. But there's also some brand new stuff in there as well. And I know there's a new song called Better Than Today that she, uh, yeah. that she did last night. Yeah, it's a fantastic new song written by a, a British songwriter called Narina Pello, who's also got <gasps> her own album out. I love Narina Yeah, Pillow. yeah. So she has a new... Everybody's going to war. Yeah, that's it. Well, she has a new album out this week as well in the UK uh, of her own stuff. She's on tour in uh, the UK at the moment. And yeah, and it was a song that Narina wrote. Narina's a massive Kylie fan. And then... Um, wow. Yeah, it's one of those weird ones. Someone heard the song and, you know, oh my God, that sounds like a Kylie would be great on it. And they worked on it together and they're going to do some more stuff for the record as well. So Now, if you're, if you're an import hound like I am, you know that Narina Pillow does not make what you would call Kylie-esque music. She's a bit of a rocker with a little bit of a Sarah McLachlan feel yeah. to her music. So that's fascinating. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So I think she just wanted to kind of get that side out. Um, but actually the new record that she's made is, is you know, is a lot more poppy because she's already, she had this kind of the first record when she came out. I know it was more singer-songwriter, but she's got a real quirky side to her, Narina. If you ever see her videos and stuff, she's really, really quirky. So. Yeah, she's, she's a little out there, but I like her. Yeah, and I'm I think, excited. And I think, you know, a chorus is such a Kylie chorus to sort of say, what's the point of living if you don't want to dance? I mean, that's just such a Kylie chorus. It that's had to true. be a Kylie record. It's true. That's Steve Anderson out with us today. So what's the first thing you do in reconstructing a song like that? What was the first thing you did for that song? Um, with that song, it, it always starts with the melody. I mean, the thing is, is musical director for me is is a really easy thing to do because as you know, and I don't know if anyone else does, but I used to be a remixer. That right. was kind of- and we're going to get I, to that too because you've had quite, that's how we met. Yeah, exactly. And, and I've always felt that, you know, arranging- in you know the old so if you go back to the kind of people like Nelson Riddle you know they used to do different arrangements of songs for different singers so there'd be a song an arrangement for a Sinatra version or you know whatever so they were in effect the old versions of remixes that's what I always felt anyway so for me now I just approach you know as a remix so as you get a say an R&B track and go let's do a, a house version 
for me, it's like, well, let's take a dance track and do a, an orchestral ballad version. So it just, as long as the melody's there, I'm, I play piano, I play keyboards, and, you know, so I just start with putting some chords down and then sort of see what works. It is uh, 10 before the hour. I'm Larry Flick, and this is your Morning Jolt on Sirius XM LQ. Keith Price is here, and we still have in the studio, being patient is Mr. Steve Anderson, the brilliant Steve Anderson, producer, composer, and musical director for Kali Minogue when he's on the road. Now, the tour's over. Yeah. After Tuesday? After Tuesday, yeah. And then you go back to Britain? Yeah. And you do what? Um, we go back, we do some more Eloise. Um, Kylie stays here um, to go into the studio to do some recording for her new album. Um, and then I start work on uh, something we're doing next February. William Baker and I are doing a, uh, working on a show in London, which is basically a burlesque review, which is uh, five nights with a, a fantastic performer called Miss Polly Ray, who's basically <laughs> like Dieter, but she can sing. And when she sings, she sounds like Julie London. So. Wow. Yeah, so that's pretty major. We're back in the West End with that. So, and then um, a bit of production and writing and all that kind of stuff as well. So now, you, because because you have sort of it seems like you have the, the the world at your feet because you've you've had such great success. Who 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 do you want to work with? It's an it's a cliche question, but I can't I can't resist asking. Um, Who's it, on your list? It's it's really it's it's a tough one. I think that the the big one is is the one that's just basically never going to happen so it's really easy to say which would be Barbara Streisand um, oh my god you and Barbara <laughs> would be <laughs> but it's so easy to say that because it would never happen but yeah that you know those are the people I've been incredibly why, why would you say never well you know I just don't I mean, if she heard if you know the question with with Barbara is always has she heard because she yeah. seems to live a pretty yeah. sequestered life but she just made such a lovely album with Diana Krall as well and it's really it's, good isn't it's it it's so gorgeous and she sounds amazing on it but to be honest with you if I'm answering the question seriously you know I have the person that I want to work with you know I, 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 everything that I want to do is possible to do with Kylie so you know and here's wow. what I, for all y'all listening here's the thing when the mics are off and even when he and I are just like tweeting or messaging, he really loves her. He's not he's not giving you company line. Yeah. And I think that's what's I so that's so don't, sweet. Can't really do that. I don't know how to do that very well to be honest no, with you. No, because so, you're just you're, he's a yeah. proper gentleman, y'all. So, well so, so I had she's a, she's an incredible as I've said it before, she's an amazing muse and she brings out the best in everybody that she works with. Mm. So what's been your proudest moment? What makes you proud to say you've Ooh, done? What's been the proudest moment? Um that's really difficult. I mean, I think the the Sydney Olympics was a really special moment when kind of she, we, she went on and did Dancing Queen and it was all, you know, two years after, you know, the whole thing of coming back. And, and also, again, Homecoming, which was the show that we did after she got well, you know, and, and the first night back on stage there was, you know, was very, very proud. That had and, to be, yeah. and I'm sorry, and I will say Hollywood Bowl was really, really special. Don't want to take anything away from the other shows. They were amazing and the crowds have been brilliant. But That's a legendary space. To see her after 20 years on the stage of the Hollywood Bowl with 10,000 people screaming is that some real moment. That's Steve Anderson, and I want to thank you for, for not just coming on the show, but for hanging cool. for two hours. I, yeah. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. It's, 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 it's lovely, so lovely to see you again. It's and lovely you, to see you again as well. You look so fit, so well, and your work is just to coin a cliche it's absolutely magical to listen to i can listen to your music for days and weeks and i often do actually well th- thank <laughs> so, you for your support you've always been incredibly supportive well, of us and and of kylie and she as i said to you when we we're off air she does send her love and i saw her last night and she you know loves you and said you know to say hi and Aww. and, uh, and I, I know you're coming hopefully coming back to the show so mm-hmm. yeah well, I'm looking forward Come to it. Come see the whole thing. I'm looking forward to it. Well, you can go to steveandersonproductions.com to learn more about him, or he's on Twitter, Mr. Steve Anderson on Twitter. Have a great day. Go do something nice for yourself. And Steve, again, you're a genius, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for sharing with Pleasure us. Thank you both. All right. We'll see you tomorrow.